Many carbohydrates besides glucose enter glycolysis through feeder pathways. Dietary polysaccharides such as starch and glycogen are first hydrolyzed by salivary alpha amylase, which cleaves alpha-1 to 4 glycosidic linkages, producing oligosaccharides which are further hydrolyzed by pancreatic alpha amylase, producing maltose and dextrins, which are fragments of amylopectin containing alpha-1 to 6 branch points. Dextrins are degraded by dextrinase into glucose molecules. Most animals lack the enzyme cellulase to digest the polysaccharide cellulose found in plant cell walls, which cleaves beta-1 to 4 glycosidic linkages. Glycogen stored in animal tissues can be degraded into glucose 1-phosphate by the enzymes glycogen phosphorylase and debranching enzyme. Phosphoglucomutase converts glucose 1-phosphate to glucose 6-phosphate, which is an intermediate of glycolysis. More details about glycogen metabolism will be talked about in the next video. Maltose are degraded by maltase into two glucose molecules. Other dietary disaccharides include lactose, which is degraded by lactase into glucose and galactose. Deficiency in the enzyme lactase will result in lactose intolerance. Trehalose is degraded by trehalase into two glucose molecules. And sucrose is degraded by sucrase into glucose and fructose. Monosaccharides and the main glycolysis pathway are labeled in green. Monosaccharides enter glycolysis through different intermediates. In muscles and kidney, fructose is degraded by hexokinase into fructose 6-phosphate, which is an intermediate of glycolysis. However, in the liver, fructose enters a different pathway. The liver enzyme fructokinase catalyzes the phosphorylation of fructose at carbon-1 rather than carbon-6 producing fructose 1-phosphate, which is then cleaved to glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone phosphate by fructose 1-phosphate aldolase. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate is converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate by triose phosphate isomerase in glycolysis, whereas glyceraldehyde is phosphorylated by ATP and triose kinase to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Mannose is phosphorylated by hexokinase into mannose 6-phosphate, which is then converted to fructose 6-phosphate by phosphomannose isomerase. Galactose is first phosphorylated at carbon-1 by galactokinase, producing galactose 1-phosphate, which is then converted to its epimer at carbon-4, glucose 1-phosphate, by the enzyme UDP glucose galactose 1-phosphate uridylyl transferase. UDP or uridin diphosphate function as a coenzyme-like carrier of hexose group. UDP galactose is formed when galactose 1-phosphate displaces glucose 1-phosphate from UDP glucose. UDP galactose is then converted to UDP glucose by UDP glucose 4 epimerase. UDP glucose is then recycled through another round of the same reaction. A defect in any of the three enzymes in this pathway causes galactosemia in humans. Without these enzymes, galactose is converted to galactitol, which can accumulate in the lens and lead to cataract during infancy. UDP galactose can combine with proteins to synthesize glycoprotein by the enzyme galactoseal transferase. During lactation in mammals, the hormone prolactin synthesized by anterior pituitary gland stimulates lactose synthase, which combines UDP galactose and glucose into lactose. These two anabolic or biosynthetic pathways are labeled in blue.